Welcome to question 1 of the 2021 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. For question 1a we're asked to find the derivative of e to the power of 2x divided by 2x plus 1. And we can see because we have one function divided by another function, we can use the quotient rule to differentiate this. So to set up the quotient rule, I'm going to let u be the function on the top of the fraction, which is u equals e to the power of 2x. And v, therefore, will be the function on the bottom line of the fraction, which is 2x plus 1. We then need to calculate du dx, so the derivative of e to the power of 2x, which becomes 2e to the power of 2x. And we need to find dv dx, which is the derivative of 2x plus 1, which is simply 2. Next, you could look on your formula sheet and see that the derivative d dx of a function u divided by v is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx. And then that is all divided by v squared. Therefore, to calculate the derivative, which I can represent as d dx of e to the power of 2x divided by 2x plus 1, we simply take the v function, which is 2x plus 1, and we put that in brackets. And we want to multiply that by du dx, which was the 2e to the power of 2x that we found before. Then we subtract away from that u, which is e to the power of 2x, multiplied by dv dx, which is 2. That is then divided by v squared. So in a set of brackets, we'll need 2x plus 1 squared on the bottom line of that fraction. And now that is a suitable answer for this question. That is the derivative of e to the power of 2x divided by 2x plus 1. And if we have a look at what the examiner said about this question, they went on to say that the most efficient method was a direct use of the quotient rule, which led to the fraction as the answer that we got on the previous slide. And you can simplify that slightly if you really wanted to by expanding those brackets. And that would have led to the simplified form that you can see on the right hand side of that equal sign. They also commented that alternatively a combination of the chain and product rules could have been used, but that the most efficient was still the use of the quotient rule. For question 1b, it says let f be the function with the domain of all real numbers where the rule of f of x is sine of 2x to the power of 4. So where that 4 is placed in that expression is the same as sine of 2x to the power of 4. So I'll actually just write that out next to it. So f of x could be written as sine of 2x and then all of that is raised to the power of 4. And that can help us identify that we need to use the chain rule to differentiate this as the question is evaluate f dashed when x is pi on 4. So to apply the chain rule, I'm going to let the inner function be u. So we're going to have u is sine of 2x. Therefore, y is just equal to u to the power of 4. Next, we need to calculate du dx. So the derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cos of 2x. And we also need to calculate dy du, which is going to be 4u to the power of 3. Next, looking at our formula sheet, we know that dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. So therefore, if we just start by finding f dashed of x, that's going to equal dy du, which is 4u cubed, which we can actually write as 4 and then u is actually sine of 2x. So I'm going to put that back in there and that'll be cubed. And then we still multiply that by 2 cos of 2x. So next what we need to do is we need to take that derivative and substitute x is pi on 2 into that because that's what the question is asking for. So this is going to equal 4 times and then we'll have sine of 2 times pi on 4 which is just going to be pi on 2. And then that's cubed. And then we multiply that by 2 times cos of 2 times pi on 4, which again is pi on 2. Next, thinking about our exact values, we know sine of pi on 2 is 1, but cos of pi on 2 is 0. And as all this is multiplied together, we'll just end up with 4 times 1 cubed times 2 times 0. And the minute that you get a multiplied by 0 in there, that product is going to be 0 overall. So that is the answer to question 1b. 
And looking at the examiner's report, which is light on for detail, we can just see that the answer to that question was indeed f dashed of pi on 4 equals 0.